The Taliban claimed to have killed dozens of intelligence officials in an attack at Government Intelligence Department building in Zawal province on September 19. The attack, however, destroyed part of nearby hospital, leaving many dead. The brazen attack was on the heels of a U.S. drone attack that killed 30 pine nut farmers on Wednesday in Nangarha province. Malik Rahad Gul, a local tribal elder, said that the workers had lit a bonfire and were sitting together when a drone targeted them in Wazir Tangi in eastern Nangarha province. Taliban intervened, attacked the National Directorate of Security in Kalat. Their spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid said in a tweet that the target of the attack was NDS Directorate, which was completely destroyed. A day before this attack, Baglan Provincial Police Chief Niaz Mohammad Niazmand was killed in a landmine blast. On September 18, at least 48 people were killed in the Kabul in two separate attacks, one of which was aimed at a campaign rally of President Nashraf Ghani. On September 5, two NATO soldiers and 11 civilians were killed in a Taliban suicide car bombing. That led to the cancellation of talks. The insurgents ramped up attacks on security forces following the death of Kari Mansur, a key commander of Taliban for Kunduz province, who was killed in Kanam on the night of September 2. The Taliban lost their leader only a few days after they attacked and claimed to have captured Kunduz province. After U.S. President Donald Trump had called off peace negotiation with them, Taliban warned that the U.S. leader had failed to grasp what type of nation he is dealing with. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, that the Kunduz to Wakhto, Salur Baji, Aunun Nas Dakikiri, Shad Islami, Marat, Kaharaman, Aus Pizzali Mujahidin, the Kunduz Wilayat, Chok Tarawara Sidal, Aw Daga Chikum Alara, the Komandani, Aw Wilayat Fada Teleda.